How's it going, everyone? Lunar Lemon here. Uh, <clears throat> sorry about that. We will be continuing Earthbound right now, so let's get right into it. Uh, sorry, I couldn't remember where we were for a second, but um, currently Paula and Ness are trapped, so we're still playing as Jeff. Ooh, I forgot his name was Jif with a question mark. And he only is level 6. Oh, this guy. This is Brick Road. Maybe it was too easy. My name's Brick Road, the dungeon developer. I've devoted my life into making dungeons. And while combining my skills with Dr. Andernut's intelligence, <clears throat> I can become the Dungeon Man. The first combination of human and dungeon history. Let's meet once again once I have become the Dungeon Man. Would you like to get a good night's rest? Sure. I, I don't know what my health is at. I didn't really check. Take care and come back again. So yeah, now we're past the... Now we're past the, uh, little maze area. Oh, yeah, and there's, then there's this cave. I think this is like the last area we have to get through. Um... Now, uh... I guess this isn't really much of a spoiler, but this is actually a, uh, a sanctuary. It's not the third sanctuary, it's actually the fourth. But we can't fight the boss right now because it requires the soundstone, and also why the hell would I fight the fourth, the fourth one if I'm, uh, you know, this early in the game. Ooh, that's... Fortunately, that's just how much he does with a critical, but... Fortunately, there's a good amount of these attack slugs, because they're, they're, uh... They get, they're like a grinding enemy. See what I mean? So they give solid XP, are weak, and come in, uh... Uh, quantities. How much do the bread rolls do? Like, 30? Yeah. So, I just I just realized I, I have a different gun. Is it weaker? Yeah, it is weaker. I couldn't remember. So, I guess I just have two now. Fair enough. Just fight enemies and we'll... Shortly afterwards, we should be able to... Get, uh, get our way over to... Ness and Paula. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Why am I doing, like, no damage all of a sudden? Did I unequip those things or something? Yeah, why am I doing, like, no damage? What? I... Unequipped... I unequipped something. Did I drop my weapon? No, it's right here. Uh, how did I unequip it? I... I did that on accident. I didn't even realize I did that. What? I don't even know if I equipped the right one. How did I do that? I must have hit none on accident. Okay, well, that was concerning. I was, like, really confused. I was like, why am I doing n one damage? That was... Yeah, that was a little scary. At least I was able to equip it mid-battle. I didn't know I could do that. I'm glad I could, because I probably would have either died or just had to, like, run away. A hamburger inside. Sure, I'll take it. Where are the enemies at? I know, it's funny. I, I actually want to fight it. Why are there none? Okay, there were none in that room. Don't know if that's normal or not. Oh, present. Oh yeah, as you can see, there's a, uh, there's a sanctuary right there. 
be bracelet. It's kind of warm in my room. The heat wave I was just experiencing just ended, though. Why we had a heat wave in the middle of October, I don't know. But if I, like, put my headphones a certain way, I can, like, feel, the, feel my fan better. It does mess up the audio, it seems like, at least for what I'm hearing. I mean, it should sound normal to you guys, but... Not for me. Present is a bottle rocket. Oh, too much stuff. Get this bread roll. Bottle rockets are pretty good for tough enemies and bosses. I think here we have to use the gum. Yep, alright, there we go. Because that way the, the monkey can... Lower the rope for us. There we go. I don't know why he climbs down, like, that's kind of counterintuitive. That was close. As much as I hate the mushrooms, I'll fight all three of them. Just to get a higher level. There's a cookie! You want to throw something away? No! Yes, I will leave the cookie behind. Hell yeah. And an opening attack. Damn it. I didn't think they could do that if I get an opening attack, but okay. <clears throat> There's a cookie! No. Yes, I will abandon the cookie. Green again. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, he's already dead. Cool. There was a cookie! Oh my god. No. Level 9. Good thing I fought those enemies, then. What happens if I try to interact? Only target can absorb the power of this place. That's what I thought. Oh. The female monkey. Now she's my type. I think I'll ask her for a date. Good luck. Here's a... Stonehenge. Oh, the cave boys are here. They're kind of tough. I don't really think I should fight one. You kids don't look very bright. Let me explain. These stones are making a pattern. It's called Stonehenge. UFOs visit here often. You must have seen it on TV or read about it on tabloids. Yes, that's Stonehenge. I was stop. I got stuck for a second back there, and I thought the uh, photo guy was gonna appear. And we need to go into this laboratory. <clears throat> and that is Jeff's father. The vitalization machine. That is Dr. Andronauts. Mr. Mr. Brick Road, the dungeon maker, referred you, right? And not only that, what? Who? My son? I, ca I can't believe it. You're Jif, my son? It's been maybe ten years since I last saw you. I'm so glad you're such a healthy boy. Those glasses look good on you. How about a donut? Well, I was only offering. I'd also like a donut right about now. You already checked out Stonehenge? Yeah. Well, at least I asked. Hmm, okay. By the way, why are you here? Oh, I see. That girl named Vivi must, sen must have sensed that I was here. I'll try to help you out. Sorry, I think I'm reading a little too quickly. I'm trying to make a phase distorter that can connect two points between space and time. It's still incomplete. I'll let you use another invention I call the Skyrunner. It's a bit old, but it'll certainly help. When you board, always listen for the message that comes from your destination. You'll get there for sure if you listen to the message. The round machine over there is the Skyrunner. What do you think? Isn't it neat? Get in. 
Let's get together in ten years or again in ten years or so. Yeah, this is how we get back to th this is how we get to Threed. And this is another cutscene. And yes, the fact that he likes donuts is not a coincidence. He likes because his name is Dr. Donuts. What happened? It's not moving. Hey, why don't you try pressing the button on the controller? Which button? Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure even if you do press a button, it doesn't do anything. It's a cutscene. I really like this song, but this cutscene kind of drags for some odd reason. Oh, but I think it does show areas that we haven't gone to yet. That are that are that appear after three. I don't believe I mentioned this last episode, but uh, oh yeah, that's Foreside. That's the next town, and it's huge. Um. I don't think I mentioned this last episode, but in Japan, Threed is actually called Threek, but they renamed it because if you put a space at the end, it looks like it says 3K. You know, the Ku Klux Klan. Yeah, so they 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 uh, they changed that. Oh, and that's the desert that's between Threed and Foreside. I forget what it's called. I think the Dusty Dunes Desert. Oh, and there's another monkey there. I'm not sure if it's a coincidence or not that, that Mario Galaxy is a galaxy called the Dusty Dune Galaxy, and then there's, you know, the Dusty Dune Desert here. I don't really know if that's a coincidence or if Galaxy intentionally referenced Earthbound. Or, you know, rather, the developers. I'm not actually controlling it, it's kind of just doing that. I tried pressing buttons on the D-pad to see if it would do anything, but it's not. See what I mean? This cutscene kind of drags, because now we're going in the wrong way. And we were already- we already flew over that guy, and the tent. Jeff explodes and dies. The end. Nah, I'm just kidding. He just crashed through. Oh man, did that ever scare me? Skyrunner, I guess it took a little damage while landing. Oh well. You don't have to explain a thing. I'm Jeff. I came here because you called me. I'm not very strong, really nearsighted, kind of shy, and I tend to be a little reckless. That's just the way I am. I hope you want me to be your friend, okay? Yeah. Alright, let's get back to the journey then. So now we have our third party member, and it'll be kind of a while before the fourth this, t uh, this time. The door is locked. But, Jif still has the bad key machine, and the door opened. I actually completely forgot up until now that that's how you get through the door. I guess it makes sense, though. Oh, everyone's stats are maxed out, that's... Level 15 and level 9, yet they have almost the same amount of health. That's... kinda concerning. Um... So, I don't know if we're... ...supposed to go... ...back to that corner again... ...yet? I tend to forget the order of things that I, uh... That you're supposed to do in Threed. Oof. That's a lot of enemies. I don't like that. We're gonna use Beta since I haven't used it. Wait, does she have the insecticide spray? Wait. She doesn't have insecticide spray. Wait, does he have insecticide spray? I could have. Yeah, okay, I was gonna say, I could have swore I saw some. That's a strong fly. Cool. So you get for being no good. Oh, wait, that's a waste now. 
damn it. Now I regret that. And he is defeated. I'm pretty sure this is the first time I actually beat one of these guys, because I think I just kept dying last episode. It was great. Hey, three heads are better than two. I don't know why I hesitated. That was a little concerning. Yes, I know I, I know I selected, uh, what's it called? Oh yeah, Spy, now I can use this, which lets me see the stats of people. Enemies, rather. Ooh, that's nasty. I think she's gonna die again. Oh wait, she has one health. Don't attack her. Vulnerable to freeze, open to hypnosis. Wait, does Ness have food to give her? No. I'll just use life up then, I don't want to take any risks. Okay, praying might be risky, but... Dazzling light. Oh. Well, that's not good. Yeah, because everybody's already crying. Well... This'll be a quick way out of it. Well, that was a concerning battle. Did he just level up twice? I think he did. Huh. I don't remember if these zombies are still here or not. Oh my god. More flies. Well. This might be a bit of a waste, but eh. Curious if fire's any good against them. I mean, that's not bad. How? It's a fly! Vulnerable to fire, and freeze, and paralysis, and brain shock. Alright. Fire in the hole. And they are dead. Wow. Whoa, okay. Those are nice increases. Like to see that. Oh, they are still here. Stares into your soul. It looks you over. I guess they are still there. Alright, well... They can't do anything this time. Because, I mean, we already escaped that hole. Hmm. Here's the hotel, yeah, otherwise I would have been... Why is it lagging? I feel like there's more people over here than there were before. Let me talk to them. There's a rumor that there's an underground path at the edge of the graveyard that takes you somewhere. When you get through the path, you'll meet a dirty, stinky, ugly, powerful monster. I wet my pants just thinking about it. That's great, man. Oh, that guy just went into the circus. Tent. People used to call me evil, but these zombies are much more scary. I left my wife and kids at home to escape to this tent. That's how scary the zombies are. Isn't that kind of backwards? How can we defeat the zombies? Oh, uh, I just don't know. Why don't we get all the zombies in the tent and set it on fire? We may all get munched before we have a chance to do anything. Frankly, I'm running scared. I don't mean that uh, that I actually run around, I just mean I'm frightened. Conditions in the town are getting worse. I'm glad you're going to help us, but you're pretty young. So this weird object flying around crashed into the graveyard, and it looked like straight out of a Saturday morning cartoon. You come here in that flying contraption? That he did. I 
I had a feeling that Photo Man was going to be there, but I guess not. Um, should go to the drugstore. Sell a few things, get some money. I, I did not mean to hit that button. Um, so, we don't need the pop gun anymore. Is there anything else I need to sell? Let's see. Uh... Not really. Though, I just realized I still have this, so I'm gonna give it to Jeff. Here's the ATM. Withdraw. I probably don't actually need that, but... Okay, a copper bracelet. Yes. Alright, he could use the hard hat. Alright, much better defense. Um, I'm gonna get a couple things of insecticide spray, because why not? Maybe like three. I'll give the last one to Ness. Alright. Cool. Positive $554. Should I have that much? Record. All right. Well, zombies and ghosts are in the loose town. Welcome to Three. Round the loose here. Um. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what we're supposed to do. Somewhere. I know what this is referring to. This town seems very dark, right? People are mostly living at the center of town. I wonder how we should get back to, to the town. Kind of curious. What if we. Do we have to, like. I feel like sleeping in the hotel. No, that's later. There's. Hmm. I'm really sorry that I. Just completely forgot? You don't look so happy. You'd better cheer up or you'll become a zombie. Some people have already become the tools of the zombies. What does this mouse have? Awfully kind, taking time to talk to a mouse. This mouse loves you. Bolton board greets you this evening. All is well. Good night. Okay. Hint shop real... Okay, I... I have an idea, this is gonna sound stupid, what if I try go going back to where those two zombies are again? I know it sounds dumb, but like... I don't know, for some reason I feel like that's it. I'm, so I'm just gonna trust- I'm just gonna trust my gut here. Again, I know it sounds stupid, but... I was possessed. What does the mini ghost do? I don't remember this ever happening before. It appears in the overworld. Um. Does this heal it? No, it does not. <clears throat> well, that's kind of a lot. I don't know what possession does. I'll be completely honest. Oh, okay.
Oh wait, was that the tiny ghost? Okay, well that kind of answers the question. It kind of just wastes a turn for me. Or, no it doesn't. I thought it did. Oh, I can only really do regular attacks now. That's cool. Actually, I should have used Spy. I should use Spy. Hopefully he'll just do it on the other uh, ghost. Oh, I don't think he'll do anything. Uh, I guess not. Oh. Okay, I guess Paula has all the food. Um... Yeah. What? Okay. I need to get rid of this thing as soon as possible. I'm just gonna just, just attack. Give me a break, dude. Okay. Great! That's too many ghosts. That's real nice. I'm possessed by two ghosts, and I have a third one following me, but he's not a mini-ghost. I just want to see if those zombies are still there, and I just gotta immediately go to the hospital afterwards. They are still here. Okay, so... My hunch was wrong. I think I know how to- okay, I just remembered how to get those guys to move out of the way. But... I don't- it's a certain thing, it's a certain, like, item. But I don't remember where I'm supposed to get that item. I don't remember how I get that item. Okay, so the hospital's down there. Which... I, maybe they can, maybe it can also heal me of the ghost stuff. And this guy? Yes. Purify, probably? Yep, okay. No! I hit the wrong button. Alright, now I gotta revive Jeff. We don't- whoops. $120. Oh my god, where- Where can I find an ATM? Probably not in here. Nope. In here, though. And I meant to go talk to the guy that's behind the, uh... store. The drug store. Er... The pizza place, I think. No, he's in this- he- you- you probably saw him. The guy in the green clothes. Yeah, that guy behind the pizza place. But... Okay. Now let's heal him. Everything that's said about Jeff just feels like a question because I had to include it- because I included a question mark at the end of his name and it's- it's great. Um...
I'm gonna look at my items. See how much inventory space I got. Well, I'll just give like I'll just give this to Ness, I guess. I don't know. Cause I am gonna wanna buy a few things from the the guy. Means I have to withdraw more money. I should have just, you know, done that from the get-go, but oopsie. Don't worry, I will deposit most of that back. Okay, I go this way, I guess. Alright. Oh! Better item for Jeff. I had no idea. All right. Oh, yeah. Anyone can use a bomb, but only Jeff can use bottle rockets. We'll get bombs for you know one one for each of these two, and then okay, he only has regular size bottle rockets. I'll just get one then. All right. Let's deposit that back. Fifteen hundred. That leaves us with like two hundred. Well, you know, Jeff would have uh, would have uh, leveled up from that last battle had he not died. That's good to know, I guess. Anyway, I'm gonna. Go to the hotel, I guess. Like, I'm... I'm really not... I really cannot remember. Like, I, I don't want to have to... Sure, okay. I don't want to have to talk to the hint guy, because I'm pretty sure he charges money. What's this? It's a circus tent at the center of town for a long time. I saw another tent south. I wonder where... when it went up. Another ten? Okay, I think that's relevant. That, that kind of rings a bell. That's kind of why I'm talking to so many people, because I feel like they kind of give hints in some of their dialogue. Very indirectly, but... Alright. Oh, broken air gun. It is the Magnum air gun. Is that better than what he currently has? Because I just got him another weapon. It is better. Great. So much for that. <laughs> That's fine. I mean, money's pretty easy to get in this game, so I don't really mind. Okay, um, now a, ta a tent south. Yeah, that is, it's, yeah, because I haven't really gone south. So, yeah, it's like somewhere around here. Yeah, where is it? Here it is. Oh, okay, this is the, this is a, this is a boss fight. The thing I just healed then. Boogie tent. I love how his sprite is literally just the face. Like, I, I just think, I don't know, I just think that's hilarious. He's probably weak to fire if I had to make a guess. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Let me use this bomb. I'll save the other one, though. Oh, I should have used a bottle rocket, maybe. The defense spray. Okay. Good for you, pal. I 
How many bottle rockets do I have? Only two? I do have a- I'll, I'll use one, because I also still have a big bottle rocket. Those are good to use on tough bosses. Oh, okay, well, I'm not using the bottle rocket then. That was- that was quick. Quick and easy. Oh, he leveled up twice again, alright. That, that'll get him up to- up to pace quickly. Oh. What's in here? Let's see here, there's a jar of fly honey. That is important later. Am I telling you this because you look like you're just passing through? Truth is, I work for the monsters. Humans seem to be losing, so I'm on the zombie side for my own protection. The zombies leader likes fly honey. He makes his followers collect it. You know, bees make honey and flies make fly honey. The zombie leader is strong because he always eats peanut butter and fly honey sandwiches. Sure. Sure. Now that I th now that we defeated the tent, maybe I I know I keep saying this, but I think the coast should be clear in that corner. Maybe. I I, I know I'm like I know I keep saying that. I just I I might be right because now that I have the fly honey, that's required for another boss fight that is beyond that point where those zombies are pro uh this is apple kid yes okay okay now i'm remembering so i want to let you know that i finished a pretty unique invention i'm not sure if it'll help you or not it's called zombie paper it can be used to trap zombies works kind of like fly paper all you need is to do is to place the paper on the floor in a tent or something and you've seen at least one tent around right and then zombies get stuck to the paper. When they move around inside the tent, you can catch a lot of zombies in this way. In fact, I bet you could get rid of all the zombies that are terrorizing the air the area with this paper. Anyway, I just asked the mock pizza delivery man to deliver the zombie paper to you. You should get it pretty soon. Never actually seen a zombie, but if there really are any, zombie paper would be very useful. I'll be calling you if I come up with anything else. Yeah. Okay. I f okay, I couldn't remember where we get that. There he is. Delivering pizza, this weird guy asked me to help him out. I want to deliver to someone named Tarek, who is wandering around Threed. No one else knows about this, right? Let's just pretend that you're Tarek and I'll give you this. Oh, hello Tarek. Just go along with me on this one, okay? I made the decision that you're Tarek no matter what. That's right, Tarek. I'm done with my duty. I'm giving you Apple's Kid's thingamajig. Well, goodbye. Could have just told you what my name was, and you didn't have to be so awkward about it. So now, we place. not the fly, honey. We place the zombie paper. And then we sleep. Again. I'm pretty sure that's the only way to get it to happen. Which means I need more money. Again. At least there's an ATM in here. Looking at you, hospital. I don't know, I feel like having a hospital, or having an ATM in a hospital would make sense, wouldn't it? Okay. Now they're all getting attracted to the zombie paper. A very... In, a very... I don't know, it's a bizarre concept, but it's earthbound. Yup, okay, now that area is unblocked. Yeah. Oh yeah, zombie dogs. I didn't encounter a single one of those. But they are certainly an enemy. So now we can get through that we can get through there and we have to do that to get to the next area. And also to, you know, get rid of the zombie problem. I do like how once you get to three, the areas take longer to get through. Because I feel like, I always feel like two sun just like, it's just super quick. Uh, okay, all these ghosts are still here. Maybe I can avoid them, right? Right? Wrong! I knew it. Ooh, 
Wait, that won't work. I think they're weak to fire. Uh, now I need now I need to double check. Uh-huh. Okay. Nope, they are not weak to fire. They are, if anything, immune to fire. Vulnerable to freeze, vulnerable to flash. They're all vulnerable to freeze, I guess. Everyone here seems vulnerable to freeze. By everyone here, I mean just like everybody in this town. Okay, great. Featured Moly Man should go down in a single hit with free- oh. Well, she- she couldn't use it because she got solidified. Freeze Beta, I'm pretty sure, should be a one-hit kill for the Putrid Moldy Man. That's great! So, she got possessed, again, which means I need to go to the hospital, again, and get rid of this ghost, again, because I don't know how else to get rid of it. I assume there's, like, items and, you know, maybe healing beta, but guess what? I don't have healing beta, or any items that could get rid of it. Oh, the hospital's all the way down there, dude. Now I'm going back and forth, not because I- even though I do know what I'm doing. All the people are out here, and if we walk in... There's all the zombies. <sighs> okay. You got possessed, don't do it again. Oh. Yes, purify. Okay. Oh! I know what I should do. When I get to the graveyard, well, partway through anyway, I should use that uh, skip sandwich that I forgot I got. Holy shit. I'm gonna unload those guys. Why is there a zombie there, man? Stupid ghost. Insecticide spray should work here. Another putrid moldy man. I hate these guys. That's fine. I, I hate the putrid moldy man so much. Very obnoxious enemy. I mean, the zombie professors aren't much better because they're the reason I keep getting possessed. Something that I forgot could even happen. So fortunately, crying goes away after a battle ends. Like... Yeah, see that it no see that he's no longer crying. Okay, skip sandwich time. And what do you know, there's no enemies anyway. Great. Well, better safe than sorry, so I'm I don't regret it. And it wore off. I didn't know it would like, you know happen, like, continue through loading screens, but I guess it Oh, hello. Pretty sure that casket is a, is a chest. Or not a chest, a, it has something in it. But I gotta get rid of these guys. They're probably weak to fire, if I had to guess. We're just gonna spy just in case. Oh, okay. I can't do anything about that, can I? to fire and flash. I don't think I can- I don't think I have anything that can... 
get rid of the because poison I don't think you can get rid of with healing. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. I'm also gonna pray and give her a burger of thistle if I can. Okay. It didn't work, okay. And the poison doesn't go away after battle, I don't think. Maybe there's a praying effect I can get rid of, the. Uh... Fell asleep. Uh, okay. She's gonna die. Dude, everyone's still asleep. She's dead. Wonderful. Great even. Amazing. Phenomenal even. Now that was a disaster. And I'm still poisoned. Oh shit. I'm, I said I won't do this, but I did just make a mistake and forget about this. Skip sandwich to- okay, big fucking whoop. That, you see that flashing? Yeah, that's because I'm poisoned. This isn't gonna work. I didn't think so. <sighs> There's gotta be a way I can fix this. Not like that. I'm gonna give somebody else that. For now. I mean, this won't be very useful right now, you know, because she's dead, but she needs the defense whenever she can get it. Is there anything nearby on the other side of this? Oh. Gord, Gord, since you had fly, honey, I considered you a friend, but actually you're just a commoner. I am the mortal enemy of your kind. Well, this isn't good. I forgot there was a boss fight. I have no PP either. Fuck it. Fuck it. Really? Well, I'm not surviving this battle, I can tell you that now. I mean, I didn't think I was gonna die right there and then, but I did. Okay. Uh... I will remember that for next episode. Before we end this episode, I am going to, you know, heal everyone. And all that fun stuff. And save, of course, but first, we gotta go to the hospital. Which is south of here. Great. This part lags. Of course it does. I should check the drugstore if they have, like, refreshing herbs, because I think those do more than I give them credit for. I know, because I clicked the wrong button. My god. 
What a disaster. <laughs> what a disaster. Refreshing herbs. I want to check the description before I buy, like, too many. Wrong button. I don't know why I did that. You have poisoned or are feeling nauseous. Feeling strange. So, okay, we could use that for poison. So that's good. There's probably a couple things I can sell. <clears throat> Let's see. Honestly, I don't think I'm ever going to use Defense Spray. I've never used it before, and I... I don't, I don't really feel a need for it. No, I just bought this. I... Well, I'm glad we still have the big bottle rocket. I'm glad that didn't go to waste. Okay, so she can get rid of her copper bracelet. Let me do some switcheroos here. Oh wait, I need more, uh... Oh yeah, I was just gonna give Ness one of the- actually, I should give it to Jeff. I forgot I was gonna buy more, uh, refreshing herbs. <clears throat> I don't want to buy too many because I'm, you know, kind of limited on inventory space, but... At least one per person. <clears throat> wow! Now, Nessa's zero PP, which means I have to go to the hospital again. And that is where we will save. And I don't think I'm... Actually, no, I'm not going to waste the Skip Sandwich Deluxe. I could use it at some point. I don't know if the speed is different that it gives you, but I... Wait. I can just check. You spring in 20 seconds. This helps you recover power for a bit. Well, that doesn't answer that question that well, but... I mean... Yeah, that, that doesn't... that's not a very good answer to my question. Okay. Uh, 2024. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Sorry, I briefly yawned, but... That will wrap up today's episode of Earthbound. I'm very sorry that this episode was a little disastrous, but now I'm back on track, so, uh, yeah, that, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.